That's right. Yes, the, the story of Mary Hamilton is probably fictional. Mary is a, a personal attendant to Mary, Queen of Scots, and she becomes pregnant to the king. Uh, she tries to destroy the evidence by killing her baby and will be executed for her crime. So it's a, a typical, cheerful Scottish ballad. <laughs> Lord Hamilton lived in the north and he had daughters three and the youngest has to scotland gone queen mary's mary to me mary hamilton to the church has gone with ribbons in her hair the king thought more of mary hamilton than any that were there. Mary Hamilton to the church has gone with gloves upon her hands. The king thought more of Mary Hamilton than the queen and all her lands. Word is to the kitchen gone and word is to the hall that Mary Hamilton's born a babe to the highest steward of all down the stairs came the queen herself the queen herself so free what hast thou done with thy wee babe? I saw and heard weep by thee. I put him in a tiny boat and cast him out to sea that he might sink or he might swim but he'd never come back. Last night I washed the Queen's feet, put gold upon her hair, and the only thanks I've got for this is the gallows to be my share. By and by, the King himself looked up with a pitiful ease. Come down, come down, Mary Hamilton. Tonight you will dine with me. Oh, hold your tongue, my sovereign liege, and let your folly be. For if you'd a mind to save my life, you'd never have shamed me. Ye mariners, ye mariners that sail out on the sea, let neither my father nor mother know what has become of me. Oh, never let my parents know, nor my bold brethren three. For much would be the good red blood that would be shed for me. Last night the Queen had four Marys. This night there'll be but three. There were Mary Beaton and Mary Seaton. And Mary Carmichael and me. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Well, I suppose we can speculate that the king had the form Mary, so he all had to say was Mary, and he had to whatever he liked. Yes. <laughs> he never went short.
That's right.